In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 54 and 55 in which we're going to insert a text box. After watching this video, you should be able to insert a text box, format a text in a text box, and then resize and move a text box. Now, as you've already learned, you enter text on a slide using a title or content placeholder that is arranged on a slide based on a slide layout. Every so often you need to add additional text on a slide where the traditional placeholder does not place text effectively for your message. You can create an individual text box by clicking the text box button in the text group on the insert tab on the ribbon. There are two types of text boxes you can create. A text label, which is used for a small phrase where text doesn't automatically wrap to the next line inside the box, and a word processing box, which is used for a sentence or paragraph where the text wraps inside the boundaries of the box. Either type of text box can be formatted and edited just like any other text object. Now taking a look on page 54, we take a look at step 1. It tells us that we want to go up and scroll up and click the slide 3 thumbnail in the thumbnails pane. And of course here we have our slide that has our smart art graphic in it. Then next it tells us that we want to click on the insert tab on the ribbon. And then it tells us to click the text box button in the text group. So here we have our text group and we're going to click on the text box button. Now if we move our mouse pointer down a little bit we'll notice that the pointer changes to what appears to be a uh, insertion point but it has a little line at the bottom there. In step two, it tells us that we want to move our uh, mouse pointer to, a to the blank area of the slide to the left of the SmartArt graphic. And then we're going to drag the pointer uh, on there. So we're going to move it over here. And then we're going to click and drag our pointer down and toward the right about three inches. So just kind of guesstimate a little bit uh, on there about where three inches is at. If you need to move your text box a little bit, you may. Uh, that's on there. And of course, that is how you add in a text box. Now when you begin dragging, an outline of the text box appears, and it indicates the size of the text box you are drawing. Now after you release the mouse button, a blinking insertion point appears inside the text box. And in this case, a word processing box indicates that you can enter in text. So we have our insertion point in here just waiting to go for us. Of course, a quick tip as well. To create a text label, you can click the text box button and then position the pointer on the slide. And then, of course, click once and then you can enter your text. In step three, it tells us that now we want to type in each package can be tailored for a quick, all-inclusive getaway. Or extended holiday. And of course, notice that the text box will increase in size as your text wraps to additional lines inside the text box. Now, your screen should look similar to figure C-5. Now, after entering the text, you realize that the sentence could be clearer if written a little bit differently. So to do this, we move on to step four, which tells us that we're going to now drag our I-beam pointer, which it turns into an I-beam pointer if we're inside the text box here, over the phrase all inclusive. So we're going to select all inclusive and then we're going to put our mouse pointer over top of the selected phrase and then it tells us that we're going to press and hold the left mouse button. And of course now we'll notice that our pointer changes to a mouse pointer with a little box at the end of it. Then on step five, it tells us that we're going to select the words to the left of the word, or we're going to drag the selected words to the left of the word package. So we're going to drag this up and move this over here. And then we're going to release our mouse button. Once we have that, of course, when you do this, you'll notice that a gray insertion line appeared as you dragged. And that indicates where PowerPoint places the text where you will release the mouse button. 
Now the phrase all inclusive had now been moved before the word package and is still selected. Now of course um, if there is no space after the word inclusive you can click after the word which in this case I do not have an extra space that's there so I can click after the word and then I can hit my space bar. Now in step six it tells me that I want to move my I-beam pointer to the edge of the text box until uh, it changes into a four-headed arrow with a, uh, with a pointer and then I want to click the text box border. When I do that you will notice that it changes to a solid line. Then next I'm going to go up here to my font group which is on the home tab and I'm going to, and I'm going to click on the italic button. Now all the text that is within the text box has been italicized. In step 7 it tells me that I want to click the shape fill list arrow and that is in the drawing group. So I'm going to go over here to my drawing group and here we have the shape fill. So when I click on this I have my different colors that are there and it tells me that I want to click the blue gray accent 3 lighter 60% color box. So these are my blue gray accents right here and if I go through here I want to go down to the blue gray lighter 60% and I'm going to click on that and we'll notice that the uh, behind the, or you know, the background of my text box has changed color. Then it tells me I want to click on the shape outline list arrow which is directly underneath the shape fill and then it tells me I want to click the orange accent 5 color box which that is up at the very top row of theme colors and there it is the orange accent 5. Now the text object is now filled with a light blue color and has a light orange outline. Of course a quick tip as well you can click the shape outline list arrow in the drawing group and then click weight or dashes to change the outline width or style of a text object. Now in step 8 it tells us that we're going to drag the right middle sizing handle uh, of the text box to the right until all the text fits on two lines. So we're going to click on this right middle sizing handle and just drag, uh, drag this over until this fits in on two lines. Such as that. Then we're going to position our mouse pointer over the text box edge and then we're going to drag the text box to the smart guide as shown in on figure C-6. So we're going to drag this up a little bit and over until it reaches the smart guide right about here. And you'll notice that the smart guide is, of course, once again, that red dashed line that appears there. Then I can release my mouse button and that has moved my text box. Then on step 9 it tells me that I want to change this to my reading view which is down here on the status bar and it's the little view that looks like a book and then it tells me to review the slide so I can take a look at my slide here once I have reviewed this slide I can press my escape key this will take me back to my normal view and then I can save my changes now on the bottom of page PowerPoint 55 it tells you a little bit about changing text box defaults now you can change the default formatting characteristics of text boxes you create using the text box button on the insert tab. Now to change the formatting defaults for text boxes, you need to select an existing formatted text box or create a new one and format it using any of PowerPoint's formatting commands. When you are ready to change the text box default, you need to first of all press the shift key and then right click the formatted text box. Then you can release your shift key. Then click the set as default text box on the shortcut menu that appears. Any new text boxes that you create will now display the formatting characteristics of this formatted text box. And this concludes the video about inserting a text box. You're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to be inserting a chart.